Welcome to a short introduction to the Unigen Superposition Benchmark. It is sort of the successor to the famous Heaven Benchmark, for which we also happen to have an introduction video. Later in this video we will show you how to use Superposition to check your overclocking. If you don't want to wait, use the timestamps below. The Superposition download size is about 1.2GB, link is in the description of this video. Launch it and you will see the following window. What you will be most interested in is the benchmark section. Performance is already pre-selected and then you have the opportunity to select a different preset, including the resolution or even customize certain aspects. We would advise to stick with the presets, for comparison's sake the 1080p Extreme should be chosen. Please note that the final benchmark score does not scale with the stress that is put on your system, meaning a low resolution and quality will always yield a higher benchmark score, so simply keep it on 1080p. Now you can click run and watch the short benchmark scene. It lasts a bit less than 3 minutes and takes you into a lab slash office environment back in the days where an anti-gravitational machine is being tested. While the benchmark is running you can see the essential information of your graphics card in the top right hand corner on screen display. If you want a customized on screen display while playing for instance video games you might want to check out our video on that. These scenes here are beautifully done and really nice to look at. It might be even nicer to look at high scores in the results though. You can see the configuration right below the settings and the test score. My GTX 1080 on a i7-4790K scored 4025 points. While recording this footage though. In case you bought the advanced or professional edition you can upload your results. In case you haven't you can at least take a screenshot by clicking on the camera icon. What's interesting now is comparing the results online. On the top left hand corner you should select the proper preset that you have also used. And on the top right hand side you will select the GPU you have. This will now give you a rough comparison with other users. However you should take into consideration that the results you see for similar configurations might be skewed. This is simply due to overclockers willing to pay for the advanced edition and showing off their overclocking skills. You can easily check if the components of certain results are overclocked by simply clicking on the score. In this particular case you can see the GPU is overclocked quite a bit. A core clock of 2 plus GHz is rather rare. So if you're into simply benchmarking your system, especially your GPU, take the results online with a grain of salt. What you can definitely use Superposition Benchmark for is compare results for your individual system before and after overclocking components, especially your graphics card. I did another run of 1080p Extreme without recording any footage and scored 4075 points. After a pretty easy overclock using MSI Afterburner, see a video for that in info cards, I scored 4282 points. That is an increase with just a few clicks of a little more than 5%. A nice final feature is the so called free roam mode. Simply select game in the menu and check the lower right hand corner for the key configuration. In case you have VR capable hardware you can also go for a virtual reality run. So this is how you can use Superposition Benchmark to benchmark your system in a nutshell. Leave a like or comment down below, subscribe to help the channel and we will see you in the next one.